much, okay? Okay, well, I'll call you when I when I actually go on the plane. How's that? Good idea. Okay. Love you. Bye. Ah, <sighs> now I'm just... It's been a long time. I've been flying for a year. So I'm sure everyone is also. So I'm going to fly today. I'm actually a little bit of anxious. Because I feel like I'm not familiar with it. It's very good. I'm now in the Wind Gore Park. 我哋過緊關嘅時候啊，各方面嘅嘢，其實個機場都幾吉下，其實所有嘅程序都同以前差唔多嘅，誒係咯，都都好相似，冇乜冇乜話好大分別咯。咁但係好期待誒呢個旅程，因為好耐冇以一個娛樂性嘅性質去去同大家見面咯。咁好好希望今次我可以帶到一啲歡樂俾大家。誒、呃、好難得有呢個機會喺台上再表演，咁所以今次一定要發放最好嘅能量，同埋以最好嘅狀態去同大家見面。嗯、我想話俾大家聽咧，我最中意坐飛機咧，就因為我可以睇到一啲好美好嘅景。好多時候喺坐飛機嘅時刻咧，佢會令到我嘅人更加可以去到一個比較靜嘅狀態，俾我可以感受到我嘅存在，真正嘅存在。神創造得我哋係好勁啊！點可以整到一個咁大嘅世界，俾我哋一個小小嘅人，小小嘅疏可以？存在喺呢個世界，然後有自己嘅一個能量去發放俾人咧，好似講到好深咁樣。但我真係其實我中意坐飛機嘅原因就係因為我會睇到自己有幾咁細，然後將所有我人生所有嘅事情，我會睇得冇咁大咯。情緒上亦都會更加平靜同埋理智。去處理好多嘢，所以我好感恩呢個旅程，我可以有機會再次坐喺飛機上，喺高處望落嚟，然後感受到自己真正嘅存在嘅價值咯。To be comfortable with yourself and to love yourself, because I, I think I, 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 I need every time I do that. I actually need to. I need energy, and I need to actually put an effort into being comfortable with myself. It doesn't come naturally. I need to try to get over my insecurity to be able to speak the truth and to be able to speak my most inside feelings out. Um. Uh. Actually, I like to watch movies. I am very fond of them. Um. I hope that I will have the opportunity to show them to you. So, so soon we have Johan in 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 television for like eleven years before I got married. I never got used to it, because when you're acting, you actually have to be someone else, and when you do that, you have to. You to hold like a shell, you see how I act all the time. Some sometimes acting is a bit embarrassing, you know. There's moments, there's things where you don't feel like you could. Jing do good beauty or being so free, say. 你真係要 courage 先得嘅。I'm like half introvert, half extrovert. Or I used to be only introvert, but I became an extrovert as well. And when I'm an extrovert, I still need to take that step and that courage to get to walk out one step to be extroverted in order to handle things. 好多時候，就算我出街咧。我唔係即刻可以
feel comfortable with everybody, even though I look like it. But inside, I'm actually, I have to prep myself. And I need to take that courage to walk out of the room door and say, hi, good morning, everyone. Let's have a good day. Like, it's not like I wake up and I'm, I'm so happy. I'm going to have a good day. It's like, no, I wake up and sometimes I'm like, I'm so tired, you know, or like, I don't feel very good, you know? And then you wake up, you change, you brush your teeth, you look in the mirror, and then you're like, deep breathing. You're like, I got to get out of the door. But even though they love you and they support you, but for some strange reason, I still need that courage just to walk out. And then the day goes smooth. Just, just even acting. Once you take that step, you go for it, things start to flow. But if you don't take that step, it's hard to get anywhere. You, you, you prevent yourself from a lot of opportunities and a lot of learning. I never had training for acting or singing. I never had training for anything. I never had training. I did a hula hoop talent show and I, for some strange reason, won the Miss Talent, but I never got training for that. I just did what I got to do. And I think all you have to do is the same thing. You just take that one step courage and you don't, you just go for it even if it, it's like you think someone's going to laugh at you. And once you do it, for some strange reason, actually the outcome is not what your mind thinks. It's actually better than what you think. You'll think like before you step out, you're like, holy, I'm going to embarrass myself. This is going to suck. But once you get out there, you're like, oh, it wasn't that bad after all. A lot of times I find myself being too hard on myself. Um, I don't love myself enough. I don't care about myself enough. And I keep on thinking, oh, what about that person? How do I make that person better? Oh, I shouldn't be asking for so much. You know, is it called entitled? Like I have all these thoughts and like, am I doing this? Am I too selfish? Am I this? Am I this? Should I be, you know, making sure they're okay? But then I realized you do have to listen to yourself and I realize that everyone is still a child at heart we still have the opportunity to wake up every morning and learn something new every morning and to, to learn something new what do you do to a kid when when your child if she's learning how to walk and she falls down you don't say oh you suck oh my god blah 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 you go it's okay get back deep breathe get back up you can do it and sometimes we need to remember that that we have an inner child within ourselves and we need, to, we, need, we need to be there for ourselves. A lot of times we're there for other people, but we forget about ourselves and we forget to kind of take care of ourselves and ask, are you okay? anyone that hasn't dealt like dealt with anything hard in life or like a bump in the road like even the people that look the smoothest something must have happened to them once in their life or in their family or something like that right it's like you know how I think of people now when I see them so that I don't get so stirred up inside I look at everybody I don't I don't I don't uh, it doesn't matter what what position you have it doesn't matter what career you have it doesn't matter how much money you have or what type of house or car or education you have we're all the same we're just humans you know but it takes so much practice because we're we're born and raised in a way where it's like we're so defined you know like I just want people to understand that you're gonna go through stress in life there's gonna be someone out there that doesn't like you even when you live with your closest family members you argue let alone outside people and outside people maybe because they're not too close to you they, they they still 
have a boundary. There's a boundary where they would respect you more and be a little bit more like distant and be careful with their words. But when you're family, sometimes you take it for granted and you just kind of easily get straight to the point or defensive or whatever it is, right? But if we're gonna take everything into heart, we're gonna live a life that is miserable. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm learning that too. Like, I work in entertainment. I see so many different people every day. That means one more relationship is one more extra complication because that person is so different and I'm so different. When I'm dealing with all these people, every day there's gonna be probably a problem because there's so many different people's personalities coming together. They're gonna, you're gonna clash somehow. Something's not gonna be agreeable. always try to achieve a beautiful state but it's so hard because you get so busy right but that's what I'm saying is like I think you just really need to at first we the first thing we need to do is learn to be compassionate with ourselves and care about ourselves feelings when we just let it go it only builds more 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 and then it becomes maybe resentment or something or bitterness or anger so we need to have we need to be able to find ways to repair it every day and we need to repair it every day but be aware of it I do now is I just if I'm really stressed or if I have a intense emotion I would go first of all take a deep breath a slow one but when I'm doing it I feel my breath and, and after that I go Linda well what do you what are you feeling and then you think about it and you're like what uh, what would you do for yourself if you were the younger Linda? If you were the, if you're looking at the younger Linda and she's going through this, then you go, oh, I'll tell her, um, it's okay, it's okay to feel lonely, it's okay to feel left out, um, but you're safe here, you're okay, you know? And then when you do that, you actually feel better because you actually acknowledge that, Oh, I'm just having a feeling. You know, I'm not being over the top or I'm not being useless or I'm not being bad. You know, I think I was labeled good girl all my life. And I was like I was young, and you're always like, "Okay, if you do this, you're a good girl. You're a good girl. You're a good girl." But it's not good job. It's good girl. So then you grow up and you start only wanting things in a good girl way and you're like oh shoot I did this I'm not a good girl you don't realize how it affects you but it does Instead, right now, I'm like trying to learn how to encourage myself by saying, "Oh, Linda, you did a good job. I, I could see, I could see that you tried hard, even though maybe people don't like what you did. 
or maybe people are labeling you or saying that you suck or you know I don't like you but you know what Linda I know you tried your best at that moment I'm here for you like you tell yourself that and then you're like then you just you're able to kind of soothe yourself but it takes so much practice right so I think that would be my way of handling situations now when I deal with intense emotion writing in uh, diaries and journals, but I stopped for like a whole two years after I kind of had two kids. But I just started back like uh, two weeks ago. I bought a gratitude journal and I saw it from TED Talk actually. Every day, write three things that you're grateful for. Every day. And once you start doing that, that time, even that like one minute of writing three things that you're grateful for, it will actually make you it will cause some cellular reaction in your body and your brain to kind of go into a peaceful state and then it adds up day by day. So like, let me think what I'm grateful for today is I could um, be in San Francisco right now with two team members right now that are from different places. Like I've met them in different ways and but we can accept love and support each other even though we don't see each other often i'm grateful we're all in one piece i'm grateful for that too the second thing third thing is i'm just so grateful for actually facetime and video calls i could video call my family and tell them that i'm okay i'm safe and i could connect with them and see my kids and my husband and my mom and dad and you know my you know i'm just so grateful for that yeah, so I'm grateful for these three things. I'm just grateful for this random video that I'm doing while in the car. is hard and you gotta just tell yourself oh that's hard isn't it but but you're okay you're safe you're gonna be fine it's okay right and it's okay everybody I know a lot of people tell me on my YouTube channels that they're going through so many different things and I I don't know how to feel make you guys feel better um, but I hope some of my words that I'm saying can kind of stimulate you, stimulate your heart a little bit to believe in yourself and start treating yourself better because then you'll treat others better. And then you'll be able to deal with even the hardest life challenges that come upon you. So yeah, just good luck with everything. And I wish you all the best. God bless. Bye-bye.